Shumi again, and this time with me is Mr. Indu Chando. You will recognize him as Karun's grandfather, but he is the man who actually started the whole Sholavaram thing, and I'm going to ask him exactly how that happened. Well, uh, in uh, 1954, I entered a rally of the club from here to, to Mahabalipuram at Time and Distance Rally, which I won. Well, immediately I was asked to join the club. The club had just been formed a year earlier. And when I joined the club, I was... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I'm just setting the mic closer. And, yeah, I joined the club in 1956. They made me the secretary. And I was looking around what's being done. Well, at Sholavaram, they were racing bikes versus cars because there were not enough bikes or cars. We had Genji Burgess who was riding him. MG. Mm -hmm. We had a guy who had another MG. And uh, a lot of bikes going on. So we decided to separate them out. But the problem was we didn't have enough cars or bikes for one class. And that time started the handicap racing. Right. So we started the handicap racing. And at Cholavaram, uh, we had a track which was L-shaped. And no one looked at safety. And we found a nice convenient spot to put all the spectators at the, at the bar and whatnot. And the car just ran off, nearly ran off into the crowd. Okay. So we realized there's a co thing called runoff areas. <laughs> and after that, we learned and we shifted all the crowd to the western side. We had all the audience on the eastern side, and when we were taking turn from west to south, they were running into problems. Okay. So we did that. Then, in due course, as I got a little more interested, I had a guy called Papia, okay. KP Ranganava Rao. He was okay. racing. A SIAC, which was built by Mr. M. H. Indram's workshop. Okay. Babu Martin used to race in it. Okay. Babu got transferred to API in Bombay. Okay. Papa had the car mm -hmm. and he also had a Citroen and he said, Will you drive one of the cars? Okay. And I took over this car, which was a two and a half liter two and a half liter Jaguar. Okay. With a imagine it with the it was a thirty six model. Okay. Mechanical brakes. Okay. And top speed was hundred. Yet hundred to stop a car with mechanical <laughs> brakes was quite a job. <laughs> So anyway, I raced here, I went on racing. I was only a competitor from Madras in cars. Okay. I went to Coimbatore, Sulur. Okay. And then Bangalore was the hub of a lot of racing. You had Freddie Webb, John Webb, all these guys there. That's the thing uh, Yelahanka Aerodrome used to race. At. Pardon? You used to race at the Yelahanka Aerodrome. I went there. Okay. I went out from here. Okay. Actually, first my first race was in Sulur. Okay. And uh, where it was a handicap race. Okay. And um, I started, I think, two laps after Buck Fiat. Okay. All sorts of cars were there, racing cars, TRTs, everything. I was the last to start because on handicapping I was the fastest. Right. And uh, I won the race and I got a black flag for exceeding my speed. Yes, uh, so would you explain the handicap concept to the, uh, to the uh, <laughs> our readers? Well, it's like this. The handicap is based on uh, what timing you have done best and the fastest car starts last, so the slowest in the buck fiat can start first. Right. But we were not given a handicap timing, so I didn't know what I was to do. Right. And being first time on the track, I just pushed on. Right. And my said, fine. So I overtook everybody. I didn't know how many times. I overtook the ambassadors three times, the buck fiat four times. Uh, and finally I won. Right. And I was disqualified. Right. Then the question came, Haji Sattar Seth was driving a Healy okay. from Bangalore. Okay. He came third and he was also disqualified. Okay. His question was, how do we win a race? Right. If number two has come first, and they said decision of organizers is final, <laughs> that's fine. So next weekend was in Yalanka, uh -huh. and we said, okay, we play two can play the game. So my pits kept signaling slow down. I was going far too fast, and I was overtaking everybody. Uh -huh. Same handicapping. I kept slowing down. I came fourth. First three were disqualified, and, and I won the race. Nice. So I got my trophy <laughs> over there. That's the only trophy I've got somewhere there. Thank there. you. Okay. But then after that, we decided that we've got to get on with it. And uh, from handicapping, racing, we went on to La Man start. Okay. We all lined up our cars on the side. Okay. And I had the dubious task of being the chairman of racing, racing myself, and had Govind Swaminathan to do the judging and commentary. Okay. And uh, M.H. Chidamra was the president. He said, do what you like. And we'd all line up in the middle of the track. Uh -huh. And probably dropped the flag from there. And we'd all ran to our cars and start and go on. Uh -huh. So that was one hell of a fun. But it was all thing we couldn't get when we tried to get a single class it started with the bikes right we had a single race for java motorcycles mm -hmm. and we had one for bullets mm -hmm. things like that then we had a race for fiat we had a race for ambassadors mm -hmm. right it was all trying to make shift and then finally we got on to formula india okay 
in madras again we had no standardized things all over india sure in madras we made cars out of herald engines mm-hmm. so vicky made two of them right bombay they made out of fiat engines suresh naik and company there at the raj batina right mm-hmm. and calcutta was kini lal he was making them out of embossed engines okay and uh, vijay malya came down in an embossed engine he came to madras okay it was absolutely hilarious first time he was on the track and i was going around inspecting by the time i had stopped racing i left the young sister go and i pulled their seat belt and came off in my hand i said oh god that's not safe yeah. and he was pulled off the track okay i remember his mother saying thank lord i didn't want him to race <laughs> but anyway that was an embarrassment so we didn't have any standardization which mm-hmm. we were trying to do mm-hmm. but each one wanted to pull in a different direction okay then came curry was on the scene okay and that really started mm-hmm. sing, being a single right Marty came on and gave us engine gear boxes. Okay. And the dream of having a standard racing right could not be held in Coim Solavaram because time was running out. Okay. The track was in bad shape. Mm-hmm. We needed to repair it. Mm-hmm. The military estate officer said check the air force. Mm-hmm. I went met even there by a marshal in Delhi. Mm-hmm. He said no we won't give you the track. I said I don't want it. Mm-hmm. I just want to build a little around it to make it an interesting track instead of going straight up and down where they're putting she cans right. we had to put she cans to stop it otherwise such a long straight was a waste right and uh, he said no okay i said the track is being chopped up by people and taking the concrete home for four right nothing happened and then we picked on sri parvato okay and we bought three hundred acres there okay kv srinivasan was my mentor okay two of us went around with jn patel bhatia all of us went around colonel chaudhary looked at land okay bought I think from about seventy different farmers, okay. <laughs> some bits and pieces, and by that time racing was getting a little more standardized. Okay. And then with the MRF coming in, training cars, and then JK. Okay. It's come to a certain level. Right. Now the next stage should be India having the capacity to manufacture cars and engines in India. Okay. Should produce a Formula car instead of having a Formula Ford in England. Right. One of the manufacturers now he's trying this in. Kumbito. Hmm. B Vijay Kumar has taken over after Curry. Right. When Curry was there, we had you won't believe it. We had forty-three cars on the grid of a single make. Wow. Single seater Marutis. Wow. All of them identical engine, identical performance. Right. But they won't listen to the standard that the standard is on tires. Right. A little softer tire, the man goes faster. Right. Engine, hmm. we had scrutiny, so we had certain as that. Right. But tires were okay. nobody's listen. Right. Once we got the standardized tires, and JK said, came forward and said, "Okay, we give you free tires. Everyone race on the same. It became a little more equal." Okay. That standardized it, and the next stage was to put it with the bigger engines and move the race seat forward. Right. Well, all I can say is, we are taking a step in the right direction. Sure. But uh, the automobile industry has to come forward. Right, and participate more. Unless they process. sponsor. Right. It's pathetic to see it. people like Narayan Kath. They get to the top and drop out no money. Right. Now it's Vicky's. Right. So I'm right. Karun. Right. Then we got Aditya Patel. Right. We got Arman. Right. They can't reach the top because the automobile industry hasn't still realized yeah. that winning a race or rally can boost their sales. Right. The demand is so much higher than supply in right. India. Right. That is still not on the radar, as it were. Right. Yeah, I understand. What, what do you think has changed in the nature of racing? I, I, from what I spoke to Vicky earlier, he said it was a more informal, it was a hobby racers thing, it was a lot of fun. And today, I mean, racing is moving to a more serious well, place. In, in, in hobby, when Sholavar when we were racing, uh, I had to record something like 178 bikes racing, okay. starting from the scooters. We would start from the scooters, and we had at least 70, 80 cars. Right. All different. Now we were not very strict on certain things except clothing and things like that. Right. And we not strict on very role bearches which would. But each of them had at least ten supporters. Right. And each of them talked. So we had as much as a crowd of thirty thousand people. Right. We had a police outpost there with thousand people. Oh, amazing! Yes. Police outpost was a great one. Oh, that's a great fun thing. Uh, the police would call us off for lunch the previous day. Okay. And they made such hot food. Okay. We had to toss who could go to the <laughs> so so we Chidambaram was there and both the Kishore and the biggest thing of this club in where the other clubs also very frankly have dropped out. Right. Calcutta, Mumbai, 
Delhi. They all, you know, sort of staggering along at Bangalore also. Right. They didn't train their successors. They wanted to hold on to position. Right. Now, all of us were trained by K.V. Srinivas and Delgamala. Don't have this in your mind. Mm. So I served as chairman of races for 18 years. Mm. But then I realized my this ruining for the club. Sure. And fine for me. Carry on. Right. So I trained Mr. Mathukrishnan. Right. But understanding that he trains his successor, which right. is Chidambaram. Right. Chidambaram trained Ganesh Rane. Okay. So we kept training and each of us served the new chairman as a vice chairman. Right. He goes over. Right. That's all. One year you're the chairman, next year you're just a deputy. Right. Finished. And that built up the Madras Motorsports Club. That's why today we are a strong organization right. and we continue to grow. Right. Whereas, all the other clubs stayed as one man yeah. and they died. Okay. So, I'm very proud of that. But Shulabram itself had a different angle. We had a long straight. Mm -hmm. The audience could be seated. It cost a fortune to put up those stands. But we made money. Sure. We even had the dubious distinction of having forged tickets. Yeah, he was just telling me about the whole case and the court case. and uh, Nichani. Nichani. Well, he was right. caught right. red-handed. With the money, we found the press who printed it, we found the place where they kept it, and 12 of them were in jail. Okay. But then, the case didn't broke. Right. We had 42,000 in cash, which was give it to us. Right. Finally, very funny decision by the court. Your collections on that year were more than your previous year, right. so that money doesn't belong to you. We never got the money that's back. Strange. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the, well, I mean, that's how we made friends with all the police people. Right. As a matter of fact, our first AGM of Madras Motor Sports Club, which I attended as secretary, we couldn't get a quorum of 16. Okay. It was at Catholic Center. Arul was our chief ghost. Okay. IG at that time. And I said, Arul, will you become a member of the club? So what happened? I said, I've got 15 people. I need a quorum. Right. <laughs> made him a member, had an AGM. Nice. Then we started all. Nice. So uh, that was us uh, over there chatting with uh, Mr. Indu Chandok and as you can see the Sholavaram days were colourful days, racing was fresh and new and lots of new ideas were being explored and racing has since then become more professional to the uh, aid of pro drivers and as Vicky has said if we were to have a hobby car event where you know hobby racers would come and do an annual celebration we would probably get more spectators back again. But uh, in the meantime, this is Shumi signing, for, signing off and as usual, this is part of my research for the Sholavaram history story that I'm doing for the anniversary issue. If you want to read it, just pick up the issue. If you want to see the video, there's another video with Mr. Vicky Chando, uh, Induji's son and Karun's father. And that's also of similar length and that also discusses uh, Sholavaram in the 70s to the uh, late 80s. This is Shumi signing off. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay. <laughs>